So let's do the Bobby test on this SPJ. Ready? And what do you think, Jason? Are you in there? I'm in there. Oh, I failed. Uh, oh, so man. guess what, guys? The SPJ fails the Bobby test. Yo, yo, yo! NFR back again. Honestly, this is so hard, but we know we're doing it for you guys. Pushing out content like crazy. This summer, it's gonna get really, really rowdy with the rally coming up in July. So, uh, quick overview of what's happening today. Me, Ariz, and obviously Jason behind the camera who doesn't like to show himself because he's too ugly. Uh, <laughs> we're at, we're at, we're at, I'm in, <laughs> we're at, I'm in Tour's house, we're gonna pick him up. He's, uh, he's feeling a little bit uh, more comfortable. He's gonna come out with us today, so we're gonna pick him up, take him to uh, Amin's house. Uh, so Amin, you've probably met before. He's the, the crazy one in the group. He's got the SVJ. He just picked up a brand new E63 S AMG. And a quick little, little, little review of Amin Tour's brand new NSX. I'll see you guys soon, all right? Check out Actually being uh, taken hostage for a reason. He's been asking me to do it for a little while. You want to experience it. You know what? So let him have his little fun. Little, little, I mean, yeah, little. Look at the look at the space. How much gets to move up his seat? Yo, this car is so little. You're up and you'll be able to drive on. Yo, don't crash. We need footage. Yo, chill! Yo, this All right. is like a yo, go -kart, yo, how does it feel having the same car at your height? Yo, this is a lot of fun. Yo, so no power steering, right? Yeah. That's why you had fun making that YouTube over there. I was like, what the hell, man? Manual steering rack, bro. But yo, a lot of fun. Yo, put the e brake on, man. All right, so you know how you have little kids, right? You gotta take care of them, get them out of the car. Uh -huh. Yeah, hello? <laughs> Yo, hello? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell Bobby is doing, man. Put him in his booster seat. I gotta put him in the booster seat, man. Yeah, it's time for a boat. Yo, he's heavier than he looks, man. Yo, you're pretty heavy, man. <laughs> Hey guys, so earlier I told you we are going to be doing a quick little walk around and talk with Amin. Uh, you guys have seen the SVJ before, one of the, the best cars in the group, obviously. Uh, so he's going to be coming soon, he just went inside to go grab a couple of things and we'll do a little, uh, a little quick uh, question and answer and see what's up with this car, how his experience is so far with it. Like I said earlier guys, we are going to do a little quick uh, Q&A on the SVJ. This is Amin here, one of my really good friends. And also the Thanks owner of the SVJ. I appreciate that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at, look at that. Like, come look on. Look at that. Honestly. The praise he gets from us. The praise. The biggest NFR member. Okay. So, so just a uh, quick overview. How long have you had it? Uh, I picked it up, I believe, in November. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, last part of November. Uh, no, actually, no, I remember the date. It's November 22nd. November, okay, so that's when you should deliver it. So when did, when did you get the call saying, hey, listen, we have an SVJ, and we really want you to own it because we know you're going to wrap the brand through NFL. Maybe a week before that. Really? Yeah, a week before that. It landed here. I, I, I like to close things real quick. Oh, my God. Um, so I believe November 22nd was when they picked it up. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys all came over. A bunch of people came over, had a little SVJ party. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the reason why I remember that date is because a couple of days later, 
in December, or maybe a week later, people started saying that they had their first SVJ in North America. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. There was a little thing going on with that. But uh, just a quick little fact, this is the first one delivered in all of North America. There was a couple of hiccups here and there, but whatever. You know what? It, it is. It's proven. It's all factitious. And uh, yeah, but look, like, like, look at the car. Like honestly, he got it. The first day it went for a clear bra, it went for Strong Pro, like it's all protected, like you know what I mean? A beautiful car. The spec on it is honestly and quick fact, also, he didn't even spec it out. No. I didn't. He literally got the phone call saying, hey, we have one. Do you want it? He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the account number? What's the account number, please? <laughs> and then yeah, he said delivery. So to just just give everybody like a quick overview, like what like your your favorite little quirks about this car. My favorite quirks. Are yeah, like, the weird wow. stuff that nobody only really sees, you know, because obviously a lot of people have looked up like what's an SVJ reviews. Oh, and also we'll talk about a little bit the wheelie. Oh man. Oh man. No, yeah, that that was, you, know. <laughs> you gotta be putting out serious power for that, right? All wheel drive car. Oh. Um, and I mean if he's riding stock tires. I think he was riding stock tires on tarmac. That is not supposed to happen. Oh, so he must have been. He must have been ridiculous. killing this. You gotta imagine killing the launch. But uh, so, what can I say? I would not daily drive this car. Uh, I mean, if you do, kudos to you. I would not do that. Like, is it really loud inside? Is it just like it, it's normal? Like a regular? Like you said, you you had the Huracan before, right? Yeah. So the cabin noise. Like, is it like? I cannot take a phone call. You can't take a phone call. Okay. No, I don't. And I mean. It has the upgraded sound system. It baffles me to why anybody would put the upgraded sound system in this. You've got like a 770 horsepower engine behind you, right at your ears. It's the best song you're ever gonna hear, right? You can't, this car is meant to be driven, not meant for you to be blaring music, and I know because I'll blare rap music in it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oops, sorry, you're gonna have to bleep that out. No, no, no. I don't, don't care. We don't bleep, this is NFR, right? <laughs> we don't bleep nothing. Else. We don't bleep nothing. We say what we want to say. We talk how we want to talk. You know? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. open. Yeah. 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 People like that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to talk like Toronto man? Talk? Yo, I'm gonna tell you things still. Alive, fam? Alive? Yo, real. Sorry, guys. Tell me some quick facts about the thing. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're getting a message from this So guy. give me a little bit of a spec on All the right. thing. So there's 60 quarter mile time roughly what it is like, you know? So actually, I don't really know, I know what I put in 0 to 60 on this, so it would be unconfirmed. Yeah, so like your, your, your times, you know what I mean? Like how, how you pushed in what you've got. Alright, so on a nice day, I've got to about 2.4. Uh, 0 to 100 on this. Whoa. It has the ability to time it right in the car, so you can get that. Now, the reason why I say it was a nice day is because that ALA 2.0 system, so they, they first put that out on the Performante, and now they added a lot more technology to it, so it really brings the wind underneath, and it shoots out the spoiler. Like, if you look at the spoiler, oh, yeah. um, there's holes in the back, and it, and it shoots out like all the air to keep the downforce and keep the car down. 40% um, more than the SV. And that's Lambo saying that, so on a nice day, it activates the system. I got it in the winter, not a lot of nice days. On colder days, it deactivates the system. Yeah. So you obviously want more downforce when you're trying to get your 0 to 60, right? And then, uh, you know, you don't have the the drag coefficient. is that the term? Yeah, yeah. drag coefficient. mechanic confirmed. Yeah. Also, yeah. this okay. is all done on a closed course, not in, uh, in, in Mexico, though, is Yeah. <laughs> Doing that in Mexico. <laughs> Mexico, Mexico. Yeah. So anyways, um, You'll get really fast zero, zero to sixty times. Now you're not pulling Tesla Roadster times, but I mean that's just insane. Yeah. Uh, but I mean it's very respectable. I definitely put it ahead of what an SUV can do. Uh, but again, I'm not confirming that. That's just but that's not. Yeah, exactly. But man, honestly, kudos to you. Look at the color. Look at the spec of all this. Like it's 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 honestly something. I can't take credit for that, man. No, but just in general, you know what I mean? Like like you took that opportunity right away to be like, hey, listen, honestly, this is something that I really want. I got the phone call. I just want like just. Well, Bobby, let me ask you something. If you had the opportunity to get this and it landed on your lap, oh, in a heartbeat, in a right, heartbeat. In a right. Heartbeat. So I mean, just right time and right place. Hundred percent. That's all it is. So you're very lucky, man. Honestly, there's people on the waiting list for years now, one, two years or whatever. Well, you can't buy them. So this is the last. I've heard this is the last naturally aspirated car from Lamborghini. Really? Yeah. So next year they're starting to double up on the uh, the electric. The first one is the Urus, right? That's the first. Uh, no, no, no. The Urus is is uh, the SUV you're talking, right? The yeah. Boost. That's the first boosted boost. one, right? That's the first uh, forged induction one. I'm pretty yeah, first turbo. Yeah, first, first turbo. First turbo. But then you have like a Tesla engine. Yeah. Uh, batteries, engine at each wheel. Yeah. Right? And the only way you're going to get a naturally aspirated Lambo is if you take the option to fly out to Lambo. Oh. I've heard speculation it's somewhere between 3.8 to 4.2 billion pounds oh to build your very own one of one. That's ridiculous. But imagine happening. 
But, but you, you gotta think about it. You gotta think about how rare that would be, right? Like if there's what? Yeah. But at that price tag, it's like it's like very specific people will be going for that. Agreed. Because Agreed. for think about it, man, for four to seven million dollars sub well, pounds, you could go buy a hypercar, you could buy a Koenigsegg, you could buy a Pagani. But I mean, you build it from the ground up. Like how much? How much is this of it? How much is a Bugatti? Canadian or American? So Canadian, about two million almost, right? No, man, you're looking at about four mil for a Bugatti. Oh, okay, so Pagani. So, com so com compare that to a one of one Lamborghini when you go and get a Chiron or something. Yeah, but I mean, one of two hundred is limited. Yeah, one of one is one of one, of one, one, of one, one yeah. right? There's no other. So I guess it would be worth that price tag, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Now you asked me for one of the quirks. Yeah, I don't know if I like this quirk, but let me show you one quirk that I thought was absolutely hilarious. Uh, the guy at Lamborghini, when he sold me the car, the reason that he gave that, that this happened is just uh, absolutely awesome. So, I want to show you guys this real quick. Actually, here's a quirk. I'm not ready for it. I don't have to sneeze anymore. So, oh, oh Moscow, hello. Just move the chairs over. Yeah, because we'll wrap it up just right after this. And then we'll move on to the Now, we'll get it to All right. So, yeah, one quirk, and it's related to the other quirk, is if you look at the key, What's missing? Bobby, what's missing from this? A key? trunk release. No trunk release. Although this middle button, it flashes the lights so it looks real cool. But, I mean, no function. But hey, it flashes the lights. It flashes the lights. It flashes the lights. Light. 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 It's got a purpose. Yeah. You can look cool. So how do you open the trunk? Uh, you gotta have a release here. I guess I have to call it a frunk, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what kills me, All right. and the reason for this was because they don't want people transporting babies. In it. Oh my god, dude, my car has the exact same thing. It's the smallest truck and it has like, oh! It has a bloody divider. Oh! I've seen this, yeah. This is nuts. Like, how do you how do you work with this? Oh, yeah, that's how they legalized it, right? Because they had to put that in, otherwise they weren't allowed to make America. They weren't allowed, oh. Are we going to test that? Are we gonna test that? Uh, I can test it. Mom, this Because that's removable, right? Well, yes. Lamborghini said it's removable. Yes, it is, but like, look at the bolts that are holding oh, it, right? Yeah, so, a bunch of clips I've tried to just, just yank it off, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. So, there's that. <laughs> That's for the, the center lock wheels? Oh, uh, for so opening the wheels. a special tool to, to, to mount I'm them. actually surprised they actually give you this. Mercedes Benz does not. They, come on, man. Lamborghini no gives it a... They don't? So what, you have they like a whole tire patch kit and all that? I don't want to pull that. I have no idea. That's some mechanic shit. Probably, uh, probably a tire pump and all that stuff. From House of Power. <laughs> <laughs> There's a plug. <laughs> Alright, so that's definitely a quirk. And um, one more thing, and, and I don't know how you're going to get in, but maybe you can, you can kind of get it. I don't have a glove box. So there's no glove box. I get it. It's a race car, but come on, man. Is what about the days you're not riding on the track? Is there anything behind the seat? Yes, a net. A little net. You pay what, a million bucks for a car like this and then you only get a little net. Yeah, and a little slot to put your little iPhone. Even my car, I got a little cubby in between the two seats. It's like, it's like that big. <laughs> for paper. I take it. Oh yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. It, it doesn't just, it's not meant to store. Art in motion. Art in motion. Can you customize a glove box for an SVJ? Plug it. <laughs> yes, Nero. Do it for me, please. Just uh, uh, try not to cut anything, try not to do anything, just put a glove box in. <laughs> My show. Fuck. It's okay, man. We can both be in the shot, you know? Oh, yeah. Harder, Danny. Move it there. All right. So, otherwise, I love this car. All right. It's violent. It's fast. Uh, gets a lot of the right and the wrong attention. The Aventador lights up. I love that. It lights up. You know? That's so cool. Um, this panel comes right off so you can see the engine. Uh, Hey look, there's faster cars, I'm sure, right? You can get a lot Ferrari, you can get this and that. But nothing says rocket ship like this MF right here, right? Doors up, sick. So look at that thing, you know? It's carbon fiber everywhere inside the whole door panel's carbon fiber. Um, the seats are actually pretty comfortable for a car that's meant to be on the track. Um, again, wouldn't daily the car, uh, but I got something else that I would do. So. Alright guys, so that was a quick little overview of this Aventador SVJ, first one in North America, facts. Uh, we'll see you in, in, the, in another video, that's where we're going to do his uh, brand new Mercedes E63S AMG. I hope you guys had a good time, to be honest, honest the, this life, North Face Rally, we, we really enjoy ourselves, you know what I mean? But we also take care of everybody in the community as well, like uh, as, you, as you guys have seen, the Sick Kids Toy Drive, we do a lot for the community. And uh, I hope you guys really tune in. We're gonna be pushing out a lot of content this summer because we're gonna have big meets. Like we have a big surprise coming up. It's wink, wink, it's a movie theater. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Like 
we, we, we hold a lot of really good events and we're gonna have a good time this year. Hope you guys really, really tune in with us. So, hope you guys have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Alright guys, so one thing I forgot about. Hope you guys didn't leave yet. But we gotta do the bobby proof test. So this is something that I've started. Every, every car that has a nice little, um, what do you call these, man? Like little uh, open vents. Vents. I try to see if I can fit my head in it. If I fit my head, then uh, it fails. But if it doesn't fit, then it passes. That way you don't get rocks or anything inside of it. So let's do the bobby test on this SPJ. Ready? And what do you think, Jason? Are you in there? I'm in there. Oh, I failed. Uh, so oh, guess man. what, guys? The SVJ fails the bobby test. It's not bobby proof. It's not bobby proof enough. That's okay, already motion. We gotta close these up a little bit, you know? Plug it. Oh, no.